Hello, in this video I'm going to go over question code 3.3.21-T and this is from the 3.3 MyLab homework. And the question is regarding percentiles. Use the accompanying radiation levels in W over KG, KG for kilogram, for 50 different cell phones. Find the percentage P sub 60. When you see this percentile, P sub 60, P sub 60 means 60th percentile. So that's what we're finding, and that would be just the notation for it. So we have a set of 50 data items. Those data items are already in ascending order. That's the first important thing you need to know for finding a percentile. Are your data ordered from smallest to largest? And they are, and it appears that they're in rows of 10. So what we need to do is we need to find a locator value. So your locator value is going to be K over 100 times your number of data items. And what K is, it's what percentile. So you can do, for our case, we're finding locator value of 60%. So we'll say L sub K here. And that'll be 60 over 100 times 50 data items. You could also just say 0. 0.6 times 50. You'll get the same number. So when we calculate that, we'll get the number 30. Since we get a whole number, we're going to find where the 30th item is and the next item, which is the 31st item, and we're going to average them. So these are in groups of 10, so I'll go 10, 20, 30. This will be the, oops, 30th item. A little too big here. And then we'll have the 31st item next to it. So you can see I've circled the 30th item, 1.19, and the 31st item in the table, 1.19 also. So these happen to be the same number, but generally what we're going to do is find the 30th and the 31st items in the table. And then we're going to average them. So we have 1.19 plus 1.19 over 2 is 1.19. You didn't actually have to perform this math, but I'm showing you in case you had a problem that had two different numbers. So 1.19 is the answer. P sub 60, or the 60th percentile, equals 1.19. And remember, we followed this process of find the locator value and the next value, which was the 31st value in this case, and average or find the mean of those because we had a whole number right here. What happens if we don't have a whole number? I'm going to do another problem that is beyond what the question is asking, but instead of having a whole number for the locator value, it's going to have a number that has a decimal after it. So we can go through what the process is for something like that. So once again, this is beyond what the question was asking. We already found the 60th percentile. It was 1.19. You'll type that in and your question would be done online. But what if I asked you to find the 27th percentile. So what is the 27th percentile? Our first step, once again, is to find that locator value. So the locator value for the 27th percentile would be 27 over 100 times, will we still have 50 data items? 
And when we find that locator value, we're going to get 13.5. Well, the locator, it's telling you a location, so which item in our list. We don't have a list um, item in a 13.5th spot because we only have discrete numbers for spots. One, two, three, four, five. We can only use counting numbers when we're talking about the placement of each value in the list. So if you get a decimal number here, not a whole number, what you're going to do is round up. So I had 13.5, so I'm going to round that to 14. So the locator value for 27 is at the 14th spot. So I'll look at my list, 10 across the top, 11, 12, 13, 14. So at the 14th spot, we have the number 0 0.93. So the 27th percentile equals 0 0.93. In summary, hey, let's go over what we've learned about percentiles. First thing you're going to do is find your locator value. The formula for that is L sub K is K over 100 times N, where K is your percentile number, and N is the number of items in your data set. So in our example, we were finding P sub 60, so 60 would be the K value, and there were 50 data items. So n is 50. Now we have to figure out what to do next. So if you find your locator value and it's a whole number, you are going to find the items in that spot and the next spot. So once again, if you find your locator value and it's a whole number, you are going to find the data values at that location and the next location. So remember in our very first example, P sub 60, our locator value was 30. So we found the number that was at the 30th spot, which was 1.19, and the 31st spot. And then you take the mean of those two numbers. In that case, it was 1.19 plus 1.19 divided by two. Whatever you get there, that's your answer to the problem. But what if L sub K is not a whole number? The locator value is not a whole number, meaning it has a decimal. So you didn't get a whole number, so your locator value is a number with a decimal then. If that's the case, you're always going to take that decimal and round up to the next number. If there's any decimal at the end, it doesn't matter if the decimal part is 0.2 or 0.7 or 0.5, always round up to the next number. And then go to your data values and count to that location in the table. Whatever's at that location that you found using your rounded up locator, that's your answer. I hope you find this helpful. Feel free to go um, and use this for future problems. And contact me if you still have questions. Have a nice day.